All right, now, yo, this is for my twin flames. I'm pulling for my deck a moment in truth. I haven't took it to the press yet, y'all. I've been saying it for about a year or two. However, I really am. I'm going to do it. It's just like one of those things that's in the back of my mind. But when I go to touch the cards, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I should go ahead and get these printed, right? Um, uh, Mr. Yellow Shades, uh, Mr. Alejandro Labrada is the one who actually did the illustration for my cards, and they are amazing. So I just wanted to shout them out. Um, and I'm definitely going to get to it. But however, don't forget every twin is on a different stage of their twin flame journey. So take what you need, leave the rest. Please use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. I do extended readings all the time over on my YouTube. Subscribe. The link is in my bio. All right. So let's get started. What is the energy for my twins? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides. Thank you for closing the gates to anything not in alignment. And so it is. What's the energy for my twins? So these messages are kind of, they're coming from um, your divine masculine and the karmic. Okay, so. Your masculine is trying to end some things peacefully with their karmic. They don't want no smoke. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else? They're trying to get their life together. Okay, so you can see it. Their karmic is also trying to do anything and everything to burden your masculine. And don't forget, it could be more than one karmic, y'all. Sometimes we be thinking it's one person, right? In mind, it could be more than one, all right? So remember that. Um, I know the truth about us. So your masculine definitely knows who you are. That has been coming out in the last, what, few readings I've done um, where the masculines are definitely awakened to the twin flame journey or to you divine feminine. Okay, so that's it. Anything else? That seems to be it. So I'm going to start pulling, but my time may run out. So don't forget, stay tuned for part two if I do and I forget to say bye, y'all. <laughs> okay, what, um, tell me about the D. I'm trying to end things peacefully here. Oh, yeah, because they don't want no more adversity. They tired of battling here with these karmics. Nine of Wands in the upright position. It's like, yeah, they're trying to stay resilient. And even though it's a lot of adversity that they're facing, they're still standing tall. But they, they also are trying to protect you, is what I'm saying with the Queen of Pentacles. They're trying to protect you. This karmic wants to come for you, too. Okay, so stay tuned for part two.